Bonjour. Okay, so new lesson for this week. We're going to look at various techniques to read short texts. So keywords for the next couple of lessons are a sentence, heading, paragraph and title. Take a couple of minutes, maybe, to think about these keywords. So, learning objective throughout the next few lessons is going to be identifying main information from text. So, all in all, know what the text is about. Maybe use dictionary to check for meanings of words we might not know. And then ensure that you are answering my questions properly. So why are we doing this? I've told you many times that we are working uh, so that we are able to take and pass a functional skill exams. So this exam, in the specification, it says that learners should practice reading different types of text. This should include straightforward text that instruct, describe, narrate and explain. So a bit boring, but... All in all, what it means is that throughout the year, we're going to be working on different types of documents and we're going to be looking at emails, websites, forms, leaflets, flyers, adverts, letters, notes, menus, receipt. But what we're going to be starting with are little text that I could have taken from a book and then I'm going to ask you, questions and then we're going to have a look at how I want you to answer. So a few tips, okay? It's very important to not rush through things. So read the text a few times aloud to somebody if you want to, then read the questions. Then before you start answering, look at the amount of marks available. If I give you one mark, there should only be one answer. If I give you two marks, it's more likely there's going to be two answers. If you were stuck, pass and come back later. Nobody actually is forcing you to do the exercise in a certain order. However, before you give me back your work, make sure you fill in any gaps. Why would you leave a blank? You might be lucky by choosing something. Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to ask you to do your first task. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading this text together. So, this is Nelly. She's a nurse. She's tall and thin. She works at the hospital. She looks after sick people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. Then she eats breakfast at half past six. At seven o'clock, she drives a car to the hospital. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. She cleans the room in the hospital. Then she helps the doctor. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. She goes home at five o'clock. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. Then she watches TV at 10 o'clock. She goes to bed. Okay, guys, so that is our first text about Nelly. Now I'm going to ask you to click on the link at the bottom of the screen and that's going to take you to a little quiz. I need you to complete the quiz. There is nothing for you to upload. It's going to send it back to me automatically. For this next task, guys, I am not going to be reading the text. So if we were together, this is what the task would look like. So a longer text about Mary. So make sure you read it several times. And then we have exercises. Firstly, we've got a true or false. So watch it because the questions might be a bit sneaky, so it's not really straightforward. And then finally, we have got, in the second part, we've got multiple choice answer. So, same as before, click on the link 
you will have a copy of the text as well as all the questions. You do not need to upload anything. When you have completed the task, make sure that you check my feedback, guys. They are going to be very, very important because next week we will do a reading assess assessment and that is very important. Guys, keep safe. Speak to you next week.